Question number 10 of the 2015 KCSC paper says, the marks scored by a group of students in a test were recorded as shown in the table below. So you have three students scoring between 30 and 34, six students scoring between 35 and 39, five students scoring between 40 and 43, 12 students scoring between 45 and 49, 8 students scoring between 50 and 54, 9 students scoring between 55 and 59, and 7 students scoring between 60 and 64. On the grid provided and on the same axes, represent the um, above data using A, a histogram, and B, a frequency polygon. So I've done this question already because it can take a bit of a while to, um, to draw the graph, so I thought... Um, I might as well just get, talk through the process rather than um, doing it all because that would make a very long video. So um, the first things to do is to start off by labeling your axes and finding um, a suit like finding a suitable axes even. So uh, for the marks, they go from uh, they go from thirty to sixty four. I've chosen to use zero to sixty five here because it just it works quite well. Um, with the graph that um, the grid that we're provided but you can you don't have to start zero at the you don't have to start with zero you don't have to start at the origin you can just have a graph that goes from 30 to 35 or something like that you can I mean axis even um, so that will be so you will always have um, this on the x-axis and on the y-axis is the number of students um, and I've just gone up in twos there. And then what I did was, um, I just did a, I don't know if you can tell, but this is supposed to be, I'll see if I can find. Um, I just did bars to represent each of these. So you have a bar here, the histogram representing um, 30 to 35. And remember it's a histogram, so you can't have any gaps um, between um, bars in the in the chart. And then um, 35 to 40, I have another bar here, if you can see. So um, all you need to do is to, um, to draw bars accurately with um, the correct value here for the number of students um, representing the marks from such and such a range. And then for the frequency polygon, what I did was um, for each of the midpoints here in the histogram, um, I joined them up into uh, a line graph, so that's the frequency polygon. Um, if you have any more questions regarding histograms and frequency polygons, um, please message me. Um, my uh, email address is in the info. This is question number 11 of the 2015 KCSE paper. This question is about vectors and it says, given that P is equal to 5A and, sorry, minus 2B, where uh, a and B are vectors where A is um, 3, 2 and B is 4, 1. So A is 3 in the x direction and A is 2 in the in two in the y and B is 4 in the x and 1 in the y. Find column vector P. So what we're going to do is uh, we've been given an expression here for P in terms of A and B and we're told what both A and B are. So we... Um, we substitute um, for A and B in this equation here. So we'd write P as 5 times by 3, 2, minus 2, times by 4, 1. And so um, let's handle these separately. So we're going to first work out um, what this is and then this what this is. So when we times 5 by this vector, we'll get another vector since... Um, when we multiply any vector by a scalar, we just get a vector. So we get 5 times by 3 here, which is 15. 5 times by 2, that's 10. Minus, two, uh, sorry, 2 times by 4 is 8. Um, and 2 times by 1 is 2. And then 15 minus 8 is 7. 10 minus 2 is 8. So the answer is 7, 8. So 7 in the x direction and 8 in the y. Um, part B says P dash, the image of P under a translation minus 6 in the X and 4 in the Y. So P dash 
is equal to the answer we got for P plus um, this translation vector T, which we're given as minus 6, 4. So let's substitute um, in the values. So we have 7, 8 plus minus 6, 4. Uh, so 7 minus, so 7 plus minus 6 is the same as 7 minus 6, which is 1. 8 plus 4 is 12, so the answer is 1, 12, or 1 in the x and 12 in the y. And we might get a question where they ask us to find the magnitude of a vector. In that case, we would just use Pythagoras, and the magnitude written with these, um, uh, vertical lines of p dash is square root of 1 squared plus 12 squared. Okay, moving on. Question 12 is an algebra question. It says, given that a equals 3, b equals 5, and c equals minus a half, evaluate 4a squared plus 2b minus 4c divided by a quarter and then all in brackets times by b squared minus 3a. So what we're going to do is to rewrite this expression and substitute in the values that we have for um, a, b, and c. So let's rewrite this as 4 multiplied by uh, 3 squared, since a equals 3, plus 2 times by 5, since b equals 5, minus 4 times by minus a half divided by a quarter multiplied by, or in brackets, uh, 5 squared minus 3 times by 3. So um, you can just enter all of this into your calculator, but I'm going to do it, um, I'm going to do it uh, written down. If you enter it all into your calculator, make sure that um, you have brackets around um, all the expressions that need. So make sure you have brackets here and brackets here um, and make sure you're very careful because you can end up with the wrong um, the wrong answer if you enter anything in incorrectly or if you write down anything incorrectly. So make sure this is the kind of question where you have to do it at least twice to double check your answer. So um, I'll carry on. I'll first do the um, top part. So we have four times by three squared 3 squared is 9, so that's the same as 4 times by 9, which is 36, plus 2 times by 5, which is 10. And then we have minus 4 times by minus a half. When we times a negative number by another negative number, we get a positive number. So this is the same as 4 times by a half, which is the same as 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So that's plus 2, all divided by a quarter times by 5 squared, which is 25, um, minus 3 times 3, which is 9. 25 minus um, 9 is 16, so that's a quarter times by 16. Okay, so um, let's uh, simplify this top, uh, the, de the denominator, sorry, the numerator even more. So that's 36 plus 10 plus 2, which is 48 divided by a quarter times by 16, which is the same as 16 divided by 4. Uh, we know that 4 times 4 is um, 16, so that answer there is 4. So we have 48 divided by 4. From our 12 times table and our 4 times table, we know the answer is 12. So the answer to 12 is 12. 